place is also closed. I've never in my life seen it this quiet. It's a huge one. It's yours. <laughs> You're always like, I'm hungry. This is not enough for me, boo. <laughs> outside today uh, recently Seoul has lowered the social distancing level from 2.5 to 2 so we thought you know what we didn't go anywhere for months uh, we're gonna take the opportunity to safely have like an outdoor I guess little trip where we know there's not many people we're not going inside anywhere we even packed our own lunch because we're not gonna eat in any restaurants but we kind of wanted to show former very busy tourist areas that used to always be packed. Needless to say, there's not a lot of tourists. We're curious to see how it's changed over these last several months. All right, so before we even get started, we packed our own lunch because we're still too nervous. I don't want to take my mask off in an indoor space. We made these this morning, just kind of like a small, quick snack. Mm -hmm. uh, some got kimbap, that mine gets squished because cucumbers are so big. Not bad. Not bad, right? Mmm, yum. Now this place used to be bustling with tourists and it's so weird to actually have room to walk. Mm. It's really strange. There are a lot of businesses that have closed actually, I've noticed. Mm -hmm. Several that I used to like recognize are just vacant. Yeah, this place is also closed, yeah. So many places are closed. It's sad because they're all kind of like small. Look, this one too. Hanbol Rental Studio, of course. Oh. Uh, for those kinds of places, like foreigners come and they'll rent Hanbol and then they'll go to the palace as well. Right. right. There's no tourists coming in. It's like. We were just walking for about five minutes and we already saw six yeah. empty Seven. places. A lot of like cafe places, uh, like humble rental places, places that used to sell like, there's another one. Here. All empty. It's all empty. These places overwhelmingly rely on tourists to mm -hmm. survive and that's just not able to happen right now. Those guides with no one to help. Yeah, those people behind me are like these translator guides who usually help tourists in the area, but we haven't seen one person who would really need their services. <gasps> this too, and this. It's just like endless, empty businesses. That's when there's a lot of tourists who come because it's like the perfect kind of weather. Uh huh. I've never in my life seen it this quiet here. Oh. Ever. It is a weird experience right now. Actually, this is our favorite Pat Bingsu place here, so I'm glad they're still hanging on. Oh boy. 
yeah really recommend this if you're ever in Seoul if you can come soon This one is also Thank God this place is still open. Yeah, luckily. Yes, this Patu place that we love. On those unangs on the ground they stink sorry um <laughs> uh we are gonna take these scooters to the I don't village yeah i'm curious what it looks like because usually that place is so crowded you can't even get a good picture so we're gonna scoot on over there isn't it better just to hand sanitize your hand after the use no not enough for me oh boy We're on our way to the Hanok village. Now, first of all, in uh, ordinary times, we would never even dream of riding our scooters to this area because there's too many people. As you can see, we don't have to worry about that right now. Um, but we're gonna see what it looks like. I'm really curious considering what this is like. It's a very different Myeongdong from what I remember. Like it's so packed here usually that people are like walking on the backs of each other's heels and your shoes like you know? Yeah. I think Sarah's the only foreigner here. Yeah, I haven't seen any others. Remember those clothing stores? I used to shop there sometimes. Oh no! Yeah, the street used to be bustling. So many people, so many foreigners, but. Yeah, we just saw almost 10 shops are just closed. It's just like a couple people and pigeon. us and like one pigeon. And by the way, it's Friday, so usually yep. this place has to be really packed. Yeah.
so this is the part that hit me the hardest, I think, because this side street area is all dedicated to kind of like street food, and I think a lot of the sellers were elderly people who've been here for a really long time, and if they were getting ready to prep their food for the nighttime, which is one of the most active, they would be here by now, like getting ready to open. It's just totally empty. Because we've gotten street food here like several times. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's way worse than I thought, actually. Really? It's just like shocking. So many shops are closed. Yeah. <laughs> Old man. Yeah, we used to go out and film a lot before this Corona thing happened. I don't know how we used to do that because I'm tired. <laughs> I know. Almost there, Kuha. We're not used to it. We got soft. Yeah. medicine for that. Okay, you wait here, okay? Medicine for you, okay? You gotta eat all of this. Good. It takes a while to wake up. Oh. Hi. I usually put my sun cream like this. I know it looks funny, but Looks like you're like hating every second of it. He hates putting stuff on his face. That's ours, right? Yeah. Our box? Yeah, yeah. our box on cream. Shameless little plug here. Our box, our skincare beauty box is still available. If mm. you guys are interested, super discount price, lots of great goodies. So we're probably gonna go out today because the weather is fabulous. We might go for a little bike ride. We might go for a stroll, something like that. But yeah, definitely need to prep the skin. Yeah, this is the one in our box, if anyone's wondering. It's fabulous. All right. Well, yeah, I mean, this was definitely a very different week for us. We've been at home for so long and we haven't been going out places. And yesterday was the first time we did that in a very, very long time. And we kind of had to adjust what we usually do mm -hmm. like we really didn't want to go into indoor spaces mm -hmm. areas where there's lots of people but right. oh. i actually feel kind of tired today <laughs> guys we are so out of shape we used to do that all the time and the two of us were just exhausted when we got i passed out last night hard yeah and clearly we are out of practice with that. Yeah, uh, there are specific areas around Seoul that have been hit the hardest, and some of the areas that we showed are, you know. Uh, and I read an article today saying that within seven seven months, like over thirty thousand businesses closed only in Seoul. <sighs> yeah, so it's I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's not a unique thing to Korea either. I'm sure there's lots of other countries and cities that are going through similar hardships. Hopefully uh, things can get better soon. Well, before I fall asleep, we're gonna go Peace for a soon. walk. And I uh, hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.